Today we're going to talk about something that I've got a lot of problems with. League of Legends! First, I'd like to talk about some balance issues that uh, have been balance issues for a long time. Mild things that all add up together. The first of which is... Boots! For patch 6.16, one of the things I'm most tired of seeing is there are only three kinds of boots anyone ever buys, and the rest are completely frowned upon and considered poor choices. Boots and mobility are extremely cheap and good for supports because they can help keep them mobile out of combat. They let them run up to allies to heal them, or run directly into a fight to go hard, things like that. It's cheap and good for what it does. It makes you fast out of combat, and that's all they need to do. So, pretty much any support buys these. Ionian Boots of Lucidity is phenomenal for any sort of caster generally, because not only does it reduce your cooldown reduction in general, but it also reduces your summoner spell cooldowns, which is absolutely asinine, so any caster would gladly take this extra survivability and extra utility from their summoner spells than they would off of the more expensive Boots of Sorcery which gives pen, which is extremely valuable, but too overpriced for all that it does. So, generally, every caster buys these, even ADC casters. And without a doubt, the most annoying is Boots of Swiftness. Now, I love these, and I remembered when they were complete garbage, because they were too expensive, and basically every other boot gave almost the same thing, but for less, and they gave more. However, with a slight change in price, and a nerf to some of the other boots, this has become the most purchased boot in League of Legends, and it's absolutely asinine. Are you a jungle tank? Get Boots of Swiftness. Are you a top lane tank or fighter? Get Boots of Swiftness. Are you a low mobility ADC? Well, surely you could benefit more from these Boots of Swiftness than you could from this attack speed, because they're too expensive. Riot has made a monopoly on these boots just by making the others more expensive. And I don't think that was necessarily their intention, but it's what they've done, and it's ruined the meta, and it's painfully obvious, and they've done nothing to fix this yet. Now the first boot that I feel is most worthy of change, seeing as it sees the least amount of purchase, is Berserker Greaves. Simply put, they're too expensive, and they don't do enough, so nobody buys them. ADCs think they're just better off with either caster boots or more movement speed so they don't get caught out as easily. But I think there'd be an easy way to fix this without even changing the price of these boots. The old uh, enchantment, Fuhrer, seeing as though they removed this enchantment and it's no longer in the game, in fact they removed all enchantments, which I personally think was an incredibly stupid decision seeing as they added a lot to the game and uh, increased the full build cost, which allowed for a little more decision making later on in the game rather than just relying on whose late game is better. If they just added the passive Defuhrer onto Berserker Greaves, it'd be fine. That's 1100 for a little extra speed. Now you might need to do a little number tweaking to make that balance, but it's point being extra speed for an auto attack range character. That would make these the most bought purchase for ADCs, again, and only ADCs likely, or maybe someone like Udyr, possibly. Who knows? Personally, I think it's worth a shot. The second pair of boots that I think could use uh, the second most amount of love would be Sorcerer's Shoes. They've completely fallen out of the meta since, as I stated, casters that would normally benefit from Magic Pen don't get these boots, they just get Lucy Boots instead. Even someone like Katarina would probably more likely be seen in some other pair of boots than Sorcerer's Shoes in this meta, and that's absurd considering Katarina's main dependency is magic penetration. But as I previously stated, these are too expensive for how little they provide. And these boots haven't changed much in a while. In fact, let me look at the patch notes real fast. Uh, yeah, they haven't changed much at all. But other boots have gotten cheaper, and they've just, or gotten buffed, and they've just been overshadowed, so nobody buys them. Now this one's probably the easiest to fix, 
just fucking make them cheaper. Like, they don't have to be 1100 for a mere 25 magic pen. Granted, that is a lot, but why would you take the 25 magic pen for more money when you could spend less and get shorter cooldowns on your summoner spells? It's... just make it cheaper! Now, not much has changed about Mercury Treads either. They've stayed the same price, they got nerfed, and then they got rebuffed to either the same or almost the same, and I have to check back patch notes to clarify, the, exactly what they were, or almost. They're just as good as they were before, but nobody buys them anymore. I see maybe a jungler get them, and I buy them when I'm behind and against a lot of CC, no matter pretty much who I'm playing, unless it's a support. But really, there's some sort of stigma around these boots. People just don't buy them because they had been nerfed. But these boots are perfectly acceptable. They don't need any changes except maybe knock 100 gold off of them. That's the only thing I can think of even doing at all to change them. Otherwise, they're perfect. So just buy these boots more. They're fine. They do their job. Again, same with Mercury Treads. There's no real issue with Ninja Tabby other than that they're a little expensive. They give enough armor for their price, they give the same movement speed as most of the other boots, and they reduce 12% of all incoming damage from auto attacks, which is really good. Not something you'd want every game, but a really good thing to get for counterplay, yet nobody buys them. And I think I realize why. It's because people are wanting that movement speed earlier and sooner, so they buy the cheaper boots just because they're cheaper and they can get their full movement speed out sooner. But I think a good remedy to this would simply make basic boots more expensive but give more speed. And then that's, that's it. Just disregard all the changes I made earlier. Just make basic boots faster and more expensive. Like 400 but an extra 10 movement speed. Who knows? I'm not a professional balancer for any games or any... I don't know what I'm talking about. But... I've got a pretty good hunch that that would fix a lot of the problems with boot diversity. Basically all I'm saying is this community has very simple problems and there are some very simple answers but it seems nobody's really trying or overthinking things or just too scared to put in any implementation. But with balance changes I feel like experimentation is a little important. So even if these ideas aren't great, I feel like they're worth a shot. 